M4 processors are becoming convincing leaders in the single-core leaderboard, and recent benchmarks imply that it is the new single-core performance champion, giving Intel Core i9 a fight for its money. In addition, the M4 processors are becoming the new champion in terms of overall performance. But how true is this statement, and if it is, should the likes of Intel be worried? In our video today, we're going to dive deep into the latest benchmarks that have surfaced for Apple's new chip and try to figure out what made Apple tough contender for Intel, the king of single-core performance, or at least it was. Let's break it down. The benchmarks in question are generated from Geekbench, which as you know by now can be considered as one of the most widely used benchmarking tools in the entire tech industry. Recently, we've come across multiple entries for devices from Apple that are being powered by the M4 chip, and the single core scores in this scenario are staggering, to say the least. We are referring to scores that are ranked well above 3800 points in the single core benchmark test. Now, let's put that into perspective. As you already know, Intel's flagship processor Core i9-14K900KS is a behemoth of a processor in terms of raw performance. And here's the fun part, the Geekbench score for that is 3D300 in the same test. This means a staggering and almost unbelievable 16% performance deficit when compared to Apple's M4 chip. Surprising. Absolutely. Now, let's take a step back and focus on the M4 chip itself. The M4 is Apple's latest system on a chip designed for their latest iPad Pro lineup. The processor packs an absolute beast of performance, utilizing a 10-core CPU and a 10-core GPU, alongside a 16-core neural engine. The neural engine is capable of 38 trillion operations per second. And all of this is built on TSMC's cutting-edge 3 nanometer process node, which gives the M4 a transistor count of 28 billion. This is overwhelmingly impressive, especially when you consider the average number of transistors in a smartphone processor is 10 billion. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 comes with 10.3 billion transistors, while Apple's very own A17 has 19 billion transistors. Suffice it to say, that the M4 is yet another overarching milestone for a mobile chip. Based on that, Apple has made quite a few bold claims about the performance of the M4, stating that it offers a 50% uplift over the previous M2 chip. And if that wasn't a massive flex, they even went as far as saying that an M4-powered device can deliver more or less the same performance as an Intel Core Ultra laptop, and that too while using only a quarter of the power. And the best and the most surprising bit about this is according to Geekbench, they're not lying. They have results to back them up, at least in terms of single-threaded performance. With all that, we can't help wondering, what's the secret sauce behind these insane single-core scores? In our opinion and the most likely option would be due to Apple's implementation of something called Scalable Matrix Extensions, or SME for short. ISM-E is a new instruction set that's part of the ARMv9 architecture, and it's designed to accelerate matrix operations, which are of course crucial for delicate workloads, such as object detection and image processing. According to the results from Geekbench, the M4 outright demolishes the competition in tests such as object detection, and does that with a performance gain of up to 200% when compared to their previous generation. This fact alone strongly suggests that SME is one of the most crucial factors here, and is one of the core reasons behind M4's massive boost in specific workloads that take advantage of the new instructions. However, it's good to keep in mind that Geekbench recently updated its support for SMEs with version 6.3, and Intel's competing AMX instruction set is in support yet. Therefore, while these single-core processors are indeed impressive, they might not translate to real-world performance gains across the board. Matrix workloads are often better suited for hardware like GPUs and NPUs, rather than CPU cores. 
With that being said, the remainder of the Geekbench results still show a solid 3% increase in overall performance for the M4 in comparison to the M3, even without considering the SME. This indicates that Apple has made some genuine architectural improvements and EP gains with this new chip. While in terms of multi-core performance, Intel still dominates, and the M4 doesn't quite reach the same dizzying heights as their single-core scores, with Apple's technology advancing at a rapid pace, who knows? Here's to hoping. So, that was our two cents on Apple M4 vs. Intel. What do you think about Apple's new M4 chip? Do let us know your thoughts and comments down below, as we'd love to hear from you. And, as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.